loaded, but we're back and we're better than ever. I thought we'd jump straight back in with a My Makeup Collection sort of organisation video because you'll see in a minute, it's more of a mess than you know my life really. Well, okay. You want to see that flash? Let's just jump straight into the video. So this is the current situation of the makeup. We've got some nice Corona mesh just chilling there. So this all needs sorting out and we also have some like bits and pieces up here. I know this needs tidying. Please don't come at me. I'm gonna get everything out of the drawer and then we're gonna sort of try and organize them into bags. So like maybe foundation and concealers in one bag. Let's get started. This is all the makeup we put on the bed. I'm now gonna sort of organize them into piles of like foundations, concealers, and just organize them into groups. So then I can show you like one group of makeup at a time. So I've managed to get everything in piles. So I've got all the highlighters here, I've got concealers, got like bronzers and one blush foundations primers and the big eyeshadow pile featuring my laptop charger right there so i'm literally just gonna go through everything pile by pile and then put them in like one of the makeup bags i think we're just sort of gonna try and do it the way i do my makeup so we're gonna start with the primer pile and then we'll go into the foundation pile then the concealer pile and so on do please excuse like how dirty some of the packaging is i have had some of this stuff for a very long time and things are possibly out of date but we you know we're just gonna ignore that well, i do have some of these setting sprays which i guess do go on after the makeup but i sort of use them as primers as well so we've got this one literally just makeup setting spray this is from new look i've actually nearly ran out of this i'm not sure if you can see the line near the bottom this one is makeup revolution pro fix illuminating setting spray and i'm also nearly out of this one as well we've got a couple of eyeshadow primers so this is a number seven stay perfect eyeshadow primer and then we've also got this one by collection which is the primed and ready illuminating and reviving eye primer now this one is possibly my favorite one. oh my gosh look at the state of that we, we're just going to ignore that for the time being like I was saying, this is my favourite one. This is by Makeup Revolution. This is the baking oil. I find that this one keeps your makeup on for like the longest time. And if you've got quite dry skin, it works as well. Because obviously it's literally is like an oil. So you literally need the tiniest bit of this. Now yeah, we just have this primed and ready by collection. Miss Sparta Instaglow Primer. And this technically isn't a primer as such. It basically just sort of works as a primer, I guess. And this one by e.l.f. I find I prefer this one when my skin's feeling a little bit more oily. So if you have super dry skin, I probably would not recommend this one. And then just one of the little MAC Prep and Prime testers because I actually really like these, but uh, I'm too poor to afford the real, the real thing. So I'm literally just going to put all the primers in this makeup bag and then we're not getting things muddled up. Moving on to foundation, this is the collection. So I've got a couple of the MAC ones. This one is definitely out of date. I've had this one so long. This is the Perfection Lumiere by Chanel. Then I have this one, which is like a little droplet kind from Revolution Pro. I do quite like Revolution foundations. I have two here in completely different shades. I got this one in the shade F01, but it's way too light for me. And then this one is for when I've tanned, but I do not tan to this dark colour. I know I was lighting it up. And then I've also got these few L'Oreal True Match, Rimmel Wake Me Up, and then another Revolution like stick foundation in the shade F3. All of the foundations are going to go into this bag because this is the biggest makeup bag I've got. So with them being quite fat and thick, we need to be able to fit them all in. I'm sure you can tell by this, I am quite a fan of Revolution concealers. We have super size conceal and define we've got two of those we've also got the conceal and hydrate we've got the trusty collection last imperfection concealer and then also the rimmel london wake me up concealer next is powder i don't have many for powder i've got this baking powder which is from revolution i've got this one i'm not too sure what brand this is but i just know it works really well as you can see i've hit pan but i could not tell you what brand it is and then this one, which is by Clinique in the shade 02 Stay Neutral. Next, we're moving on to the brow products. So I have this, which is from Primark and literally costs one pound and is so good. I've also got this other brow gel, which is just clear. And I believe this is by Makeup Revolution, as well as this one by Revolution, which is just a brow crayon. And you know, we've got a theme going with all my makeup. I really like Makeup Revolution. This is a brow palette. So you've got powder shades then 
these are sort of meant to be like highlighters and then sort of like cream highlighters i don't really tend to use this side i've also got a brow pencil which is from ted baker however i don't usually reach for this because it's slightly too light for me but it's a cute packaging though the next pile is bronzers featuring one blush it's literally the only blush i own which is by mac it is in the shade Modern Mandarin and it's just a powder blush and it's quite a peachy colour. And then for the bronzers, I've got this one right here, which is by MUA Makeup Academy. We've then got this bronzer by MAC, which is in the shade Refined Golden. And it does actually have a slight shimmer to it. Let me show you. This is so cute. Like, look at that. Can you see the sort of the shimmer in that? Like, so pretty. I think this is the bronzer I reach for the most, which is MUA Makeup Academy. Glow bronzer. It's from the Glow collection that they released last summer. It's got so many different shades of, well, bronzer in there. Then we've got this one, which is from the Soph Revolution collection. So, you know, Soph does live. Who used to be Soph does nails? Yeah. As you can see, I like this. I've hit pan. Of course, we've got the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. Then I've also got this, which is the Stick Foundation in the shade F14. I sort of bought this to use as a cream Condor stick. Obviously, that is not my shade of foundation, so it could not be used for that. This is a fairly big pile. This is the highlighter. So, as you can see, I've got two of these, which are the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. Oh my gosh, absolute favourite. Like, just look at that colour. It's such a gorgeous, shimmery colour. Um, I'm in love with that. Then we've got the Lottie London collaboration with Imagination, which is like a powder highlighter. I do find this is slightly too dark, so I use this when I'm tanned, but oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've then got a few Revolution highlighters. So I've got Soph's highlighter palette. I've got the Revolution strobe palette. Oh, hey, you can see me. Then we've got the Revolution collab with Roxy, which is a contour and highlighter palette. I did accidentally break that one, but nevertheless, oh my gosh, in love with this palette. Then of course, we've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is it Anastasia? Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm so bad for smashing highlighters. This has had so much use out of it. Like I've had this for so long. The product from the Glow Collection from MUA Makeup Academy. And then we've just got the little sleek highlighter palette absolutely love this i don't tend to reach for that one because it's a cream one and then just a little ted baker one this is technically a contour and highlighter palette you meant to use this shade for contour but i find it's just too shimmery for that so i just use it all as a highlighter so i'm not going to go into detail and show you every single eyeshadow palette because there's way too many i'll just show you a few so We've got the Rider or Die palette, which is Roxy's collaboration with Revolution. I'm sure you can tell by now I do love Revolution. We've got Imaginations collaboration. We've then got the Pride Revolution one. Uh, we've got some Urban Decay ones. We do love them. And then I've got a few like smaller ones. So I've got this, which is Imaginations collab with Lottie London. Little mini Urban Decay one. And Kiko London. Got some of the Little Mix palettes. Another Soap palette there. Moving on to the eyeliners and the mascaras. So we have some glittery eyeshadows there. Then we've just got some plain black ones. Got one by number seven. We've got Rimmel London. For the mascaras, as you can see, I've got three of these. Big fan of this. This is the Maybelline New York The Falsies Push Up Dram Mascara. I just find this makes your eyelashes look so long. Another Maybelline mascara, which is the Last Sensational Lash Multiply Mascara. Absolutely love this one too. A really popular one, I'm sure most of you have tried this. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Insane. Absolutely love that. So we've got a couple of samples of the MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara. We've got one by number seven. We've got a Ted Baker one there, Clinique, and who is this by? L'Oreal Paris. Then I keep all of my lip products up here, so I have quite a collection of MAC ones. You know, we've got some Honey Love, Velvet Teddy, Brave, you know, all the classic ones that everyone loves. I've got the Camila Cabello Lip Gloss Collaboration with L'Oreal Paris. And I've got a Ted Baker one here. Uh, this is from Primark, my absolute favourite because like Warm Healthy Day is insane. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I'm sure anyone that's tried this knows how amazing this is. We've got a few of the little mix ones here and then back here. Some of the Kylie Lip Kit 
kind of ones. This one by The Balm, amazing. And then just some Revolution because it would not be me if I didn't have a Revolution product for every single type of makeup. So that is the lipstick collection. So this is already organized so we don't need to do anything with this. So that's the end of the video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I just felt like it was time for me to come back to YouTube. You know, I've had some stuff going on. I'm not gonna go into detail, don't wanna bore you. But yeah, I'm back and we're gonna be regular uploading and I hope you guys stick around. Um, if you are new here, if you've stumbled across in this video and you've never seen my face before, please do subscribe. It really would mean the world. I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Oh, oh.